Building a channel is a lot of work. Not only do I have to actually make the videos, but I have to think about what kind of content my audience would like to see. It may not seem like it, but that part, the research, actually takes longer than any other part of the process. I mean, sometimes it can take hours. But this time, I nailed it. I had a little think about what you fuck ugly hatchlings would like to hear about today and came to this conclusion thusly. Yes, it's gender neutral makeup. Whack that label onto anything and you can hike the price up at least 6%. It's the price of progression, people. Freedom isn't free. Today we're gonna try ASOS. ASOS. The ASOS is new. Makeup line. Why do they split their voices up like that? It's not impressive. I can do that right now. And I'm just one person. I don't have a whole crew churning out my bullshit videos for me. How often do you wear makeup? Oh, I've got this one disembodied voice all the fucking time. Look at him. Why would you even need to ask that question? He's more doled up than a Barbie convention. At least six days a week, every day. So not every day then. You do know there are seven days in a week, don't you, Kenneth? Unless the left have removed Sundays because having a day off is culturally appropriating the Sabbath or something. I wear some form of makeup every single day. And I'm guessing you get an extra large Big Mac meal every day too, Troy. Fucking hell, man. You need more than just makeup. That shirt makes you look like the one green planet in our solar system. Shit, stick a blue t-shirt on beneath it, change the background to black, and I think NASA were sending images of the Earth. Funny you should be called Troy when you're the size of the wooden fucking horse. If we take a look inside you, will you be chock full of Greeks? And if not, I bet you'd like to be. Oh, never. Of course not, Danielle. You're ginger. So what's the point? I feel ecstatic. Because it's almost lunchtime? About a gender neutral makeup line. Yeah, until you realize you can't eat it. What makes it gender neutral, Troy? Besides a label, it's still painting your face. Something generally considered an effeminate move. So what makes it gender neutral? I think it's something that has been long overdue. Despite gender neutrality being an incredibly recent thing, it's okay. Fashions come and go. Hopefully this one will go the same way as Troy's feet. That is never seen again. I think it's pretty cool. What could this mean for somebody like me? It means you can be ginger, but with paint on your face. I don't see it doing a lot for you, Danielle. You should be more concerned with sunscreen than makeup. I already obviously subscribe to the idea that like clothes and makeup and all these different like beauty things can already be genderless. Even though it's marketed to women as a way to boost self-confidence and attract other people by looking all purdy, whilst at the same time making them feel ugly as fuck when they leave the house without putting any on. Kind of like when your mate who always wears glasses briefly takes them off and it's like meeting an alien. It's women who worry more about their appearance because men have sex with their eyes open. To see a brand finally embrace that and create something that is gender non-descript. It's makeup, Troy. They could put mascara for men on the label and it would still be makeup. And in its everyday use, makeup is for women. I mean, who else would shell out 10 bucks on something described as eggshell blue? It's blue. And nothing blue has has any business on my face, except Liara from Mass Effect. I think is a huge, awesome step forward. I feel like makeup doesn't have any gender, like just like a football doesn't really have a gender. Except in certain languages, objects do have a gender. And how shiny is your forehead? The fucking gleam coming off of you. One wrong movement and you'll be sending an SOS signal to the International Space Station. Is this really the best person for a makeup video? Kids should wear less foundation and more paper bag. Makeup don't have a gender either. Holy hell, that's loud. So what have we got? Lipstick for $11.50. Fucking rip off. Here's what I found. It's the pink collection and it's yours for only five quid. That's $6.59 for five of the fuckers. But you aren't getting any gender neutral makeup. So maybe it's worth paying the extra $5 for a fucking label. I mean, let's be fair. These people could have a bank balance of zero and still have more money than cents. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Ooh, chubby highlighter stick. <laughs> How long before they change it to differently sized highlighter stick? Anyway, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Ten bucks for some fucking glitter. Ten fuck it. Just make a Christmas card with a kid. You'll end up covered in the stuff anyway. And since when has glitter been an essential part of any woman's hooker kit? You know Helen of Sparta, the face that launched a thousand ships? She could have launched a million if only she had a dual glitter pod. And you know what else glitters? Fish. <laughs> Quick 
question, throughout all of that, was anyone struck by a certain gender neutrality? Or does it look like exactly the same stuff most women use to lie to the rest of humanity about the current state of their face? Don't get me wrong, it's a nice little niche in the market, making something gender neutral. All they have to do is buy a shit ton of Maybelline products, whack a new label on them, charge double the price, and wait for the progressive squad to give you their parents' money. It's a little bit genius. Hi, I'm Shara Davis, and I'm going to be helping Danielle create her makeup look today. Is one person going to be enough, Shara? I mean, look at her. That's a two-man job at the very least. Using ASOS's beauty line. I'm down to be a cool-looking prince. Okay, so, ooh, Ginger Prince. Oh, there's always Harry Windsor. Just dress her up like a Nazi. Done. A new lip, bold eye, but a colorful bold eye. And I want to look like a unicorn, like, fresh out of the 90s. Your cholesterol's in the 90s, mate. How's she going to help you look like a make-believe creature? You can't even pull off the I'm obese but healthy myth. I would describe my style as polished urban. That's funny. I'd describe your style as desperate to get on RuPaul's Drag Race. And what the fuck is Shah supposed to take from polished and urban? Like, oh, so you want the appearance of a tidy shithole. Say no more, fam. Makeup is fun. It's a confident booster. I would say my style is... Eccentric, out of the box. I like to play with gender norms and color. Color? Fine. Play with that as much as you play with yourself. Carry on. But how can you be playing with gender norms if this makeup is gender neutral? Eh? I mean, she's just put glitter on your damn lips, so how gender neutral that is isn't something I'm gonna debate. But surely if your aim is to challenge gender norms, you, as a male, could save yourself some money and purchase female makeup. I would just describe my style as, like, androgynous streetwear. Ginger isn't a style. It's closer to a disability. And don't give her blue and gold eyes, for fuck's sake. Now she looks like a prostitute from the My Little Pony universe. Oh yeah, very gender neutral. Yeah, I didn't realise this was about the upper class people from the Hunger Games. <laughs> So, are you ready to see her look? Wow, he's not even- That has got to be the longest this confused little black boy has ever gone without seeing his reflection. It's a shame though. Shark could have written, there are only two genders across his forehead. That would have been worth it. Yeah, I'm ready to see myself. <laughs> We well, look exactly the same, but with the eyes of someone who's been decaying at sea since 1942. Can I look? Okay. <gasps> Whoa, oh my God. I am just glowing. No, you're glittering, Troy. You're wearing glitter. You're like a fat acceptance video from the makers of Twilight. Your whole face looks like something Tina Turner would wear. I would tell my younger self, don't be afraid. Be very afraid. To try new things and step outside your comfort zone and be your own beauty and style icon. Be your own beauty. That's just something ugly people say. But I'm just putting it out there. Behind all that makeup is a man with many, many issues. You can't paint a wrecking ball yellow and tell people it's Pac-Man, Troy. Oh. Oh, you know what you're doing. Now I would tell my younger self to not let anyone judge you for wanting to wear makeup and just do it. Timed advice, yeah. By the same token, I'd tell my younger self to rip the living piss out of any man who is so engrossed by his own appearance. Which of us is right? I don't know. Call it a draw, I guess. It is bisexual superhero. <laughs> Oh, she's bisexual? Who knew? Well, all of us, I think. I mean, looking like that is the only option, isn't it? Double your chances. I would just tell myself to keep trying things. I figured out my style through just like continuing to try different things. Try different things is honestly a good mantra to live by, but I don't think it extends to makeup. I mean, how many people have gone off to India to find themselves only to come back home and realize the answer was in the bottom of their liquid eyeliner? If you're gonna try anything new, see what that stuff tastes like like. It's gender neutral. It's got to be good for you, right? If you're a man and you're kind of like thinking about dabbling in makeup, then expect some attention. And not the good kind of attention. Expect the children asking their parents what's wrong with that man kind of attention. I mean, if we're all dishing out advice, that would be mine. I would say you really should go for it. And if you're a man who's never thought about trying makeup, I would say you should go for it. Oh, of course you'd say that. That way you wouldn't be the weirdest person in the room. When someone says, what the fuck is up with that fat cunt in makeup, you can go, but what about that one over there? He's wearing eggshell blue lipstick with sanguine desert eyeshadow. Can you be any more 
mixed up? Because, now forgive me if I'm making assumptions here, but y'all are bound to be bitches, aren't you? So yeah, everyone should wear makeup so Troy, in a mark of solidarity, can throw you under the bus before someone does it to him. Or for the low price of more than it would normally cost. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron so I can get my makeup tattooed on. And check out the Drunken Uncle merchandise, which offers such gems as this. The links are in the description, and remember, $11 for a gender-neutral lipstick? That's gay-like robbery. Yeah.